Here we have a block on an inclined plane. We want to apply a force that will stop the block from sliding down the plane. This picture will help us see what's going on in the problem. The mass is given so we can find the weight. Next we want to break the weight down into its components that are parallel and perpendicular to the plane. Since Wx is causing the block to slide down the plane, we will have to apply a force equal and opposite to Wx. We will call this force F app, or the force applied. We will draw the force triangle for the weight so we can find its x component. The angle adjacent to the x axis is 60 degrees. Then we use cosine to find Wx. Our axis is tilted, so when we use our net force equation, we will call the forces acting parallel to the plane the x forces. Here's our net force formula. The acceleration in the x direction is zero because we are stopping the object from moving. We substitute in our values, and because it is zero, we can also eliminate the acceleration from the equation. We can now see the magnitude of the applied force is equal to the x component of the weight. After substituting in our values, we find that we have to apply a force of 122.5 newtons up the inclined plane to stop the mass from moving.